Hey guys, Jared Chunks 21 here. So, um, uh, you're gonna get one Fallout New Vegas video. Uh, I uploaded it today. Today's Monday. Um, and I'll explain why that is. Uh, I guess I can do it right now. Before I get into a little bit of a helpful vlog that I wanted to put out there. Also, it kind of fits into one of my pet peeves. Or one of the things that annoys me as, as I were. Um... I was I I have the game footage for Fallout New Vegas' next video done. I have to do my dub over, but I can't. Because if you guys aren't aware of what I do when I do the dub over a video, ignore that. That is, I got a message from somebody. Uh, I use these. This way you don't get the feedback from my audio being recorded. So I put these on, put them over my ears, plug them into my laptop, and I dub over it in Adobe Premiere Pro, and then I scrub it and everything and all that nice stuff. Um, the issue with these is they get really hot, and they're, they cancel out noise. Cancel out outside noise. Now, that's normally not an issue, but it is when you have a bad ear. Ignore that. Again, another message. Um... So, if you guys aren't aware, I, back when I was a lot younger, I had to get artificial ear tubes put in my ears, um, because I had hearing issues. Uh, during the surgery, I got, during the surgery, or after the surgery, I got MRSA in my right ear, this ear, right here. And, uh, if you guys aren't aware what MRSA is, it's a type of infection that is incredibly resistant to antibiotics. Like, I've had it since I was really young, and I can never get rid of it completely. It's always, it's just sitting there waiting for a reason to come out and fuck up shit. And it is, if you guys have a medical family, you guys know what, to, you might know what this looks like. Or if you've had it. MRSA is a really yellowy, thick, um, it's like earwax if you mix it with yellow, really dark yellow coloring and, like, turn it into a paste. It is really nasty, it gets everywhere, it leaks out of your ears, I've, ha I've had to throw away numerous pillows, if I, when I was sick in the, at, in elementary school, they had cots, whenever I was sick, if I had MRSA, the school would actually quarantine a cot for me. They would not allow me to lay on the cot itself without it being quarantined. Because then they, then if I did, they would have to throw away that cot because they can't, they couldn't scrub it away. It'd be stuck there. It's nasty. And um, in this ear. I had a cut in my ear, I don't know how I got a cut, but this upper ridge, I don't know if you guys know it, know about it, there's an upper ridge, there's the ear, ear, inner ear canal, and then you have a little gap where there's two little pieces of cartilage skin that form like a ridge right above that, and then you have the top of your ear. Um, right in that little cartilage gap ridge, I had a cut, and I don't know how I got one in there. Uh, while we were in Virginia, I went swimming, and I thought the pool was saltwater pool, which I thought was, wow, that's unique. Mom comes up, she's like, oh, by the way, I don't, I don't think it's fresh, I don't think it's saltwater. I think it's just a really nasty, non-cleaned pool, like there's no bleach or anything in it. So, not long after I go swimming, my ear starts popping whenever I swallow. I'm thinking, okay, I got a little bit of water in here. So I come home one day, I get the little, I, I give my mom this, this squishy thing that you use to suck water out of your ear. And uh, she uses that, and she's like, John, you had an ear infection. I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Because now I can't hear out of my right ear. I, I literally cannot hear out of this ear. And if I put anything on it, it hurts. Like, my ear is swollen from the infection, so, uh, I'm not gonna be able to dub over anything, until this clears up, thankfully it's not MRSA, because it didn't smell, MRSA has a very distinct smell, and trust me, it is nasty, also there was no, like, really yellowy residue, 
god, this is this, this is disgusting. This is fucking disgusting. There was none of that on the squishy, which mom was thankful for because she would have had to throw the squishy away. Um, but now let's just get on to the advice vlog. So one thing that really annoyed me as an explorer when I was one, after people found out, their first thing they always asked me was, "Hey man, I drive a lot." Well, no shit. You you go to you go to college. You you go to work, right? I drive a lot. How do I get out of a ticket? Get out of your car when the cop comes up and do the chicken dance. No, but seriously, my advice to them was always the same. As an explorer, I talked to a lot of officers, and they all gave me the same thing. If you're honest and you're polite. I mean, really, just be honest and polite, and you're likely going to get a warning. Now, down here in North Carolina, m most departments adhere to the policy of, if you're going 15 over in North Carolina, that's considered reckless driving, and we're supposed to not just give you a ticket, we're actually supposed to take your license. But uh, most cops, and this is coming from a lawyer who mentioned it, he's like, most cops, if you're polite and really nice and you cop to it, They'll, like, bump it down. They'll say, oh, he wasn't really going 15. He is going 10. He is going 10. Maybe 14. But, yeah. Guys, pro tip. If you want to speed but don't want to get a ticket, just go the 5 over. Most cops ain't going to stop you for going 5 over. Now, this is from me, from my training, and from how I see things. I'm not a cop right now, but if I was... There's two times I'm going to be pretty strict on you. One, if you're going really fast. Like, I mean, if you're going 20 to 25 over and you're zipping through traffic and you don't use your signal, that pisses me off people don't use their signal. Even if you're in a turn-only lane, use your signal. It pisses me off. And it's even worse when people are in one of those lanes that say you can go straight or you can turn. And you, they're going slow, and you're like, are you going to turn? Are you going to go straight? And they just go straight, and you're like, why are you going 10 and a 35? Pisses me off. It really does. People who go really fast, or people who don't use their signal. The other thing, if you blow through a crosswalk, or if you go through a school zone really fast, I, I'm not, I'm not going to play around with you. I'm going to go. I slow down at crosswalk. Even if I see no one coming, I slow down. My college has a couple of crosswalks, and this is why I'm strict with crosswalks. My college has a couple of crosswalks, and one thing that pisses me off is I was almost hit going through a crosswalk on my college. What the fuck? If you guys aren't aware, most states that I have been to have a policy. Pedestrians have the right-of-way. Now, that doesn't mean you can cross in the middle of a damn road. Don't. If your city doesn't have crosswalks, go to the light, go to the corner, and cross. This way you're safe. But if you're crossing in a crosswalk, you have right away. Now, most places have it where if, you're a if it's a crosswalk and you're in town, they have the little light that has the little green man walking, or they have the little hand that says stop. Follow that light, because you can get in trouble for, I guess, jaywalking or some shit, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Just thought I'd give you this little bit of advice. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification.